we're back for another Dollar Tree DIY. This one I have been wanting to do for a long time and I'm so glad it's finally here. I think you guys are really gonna love this, especially if you have like a rustic, charming, cottagey, farmhouse feel aesthetic going on in your house. And so what I've done is I went to the Dollar Tree and I had to look for very specific books. And then I also got some cotton twine and I showed you guys that they also sell like jute. Now the cotton twine is also from Dollar Tree. It's in the automotive section. And so was that colored jute, the green and the darker brown. But back to the book. So all of these books are from Dollar Tree as well. This entire project is Dollar Tree. Not one thing I didn't use, even the red scissors are from Dollar Tree. But anyway, so I was in search of very specific books, so I did have to go through quite a few books of the Dollar Tree to find the perfect ones, and that's why I'm showing you guys the covers of them so that you can maybe find those. What I wanted was books on the inside that didn't have any letters or anything in the very first page, and most of the books did have like some sort of title or something on that very first page, but I wanted no writing of any sort. I just wanted the cream front, and basically, I'm going to tear this book down and get rid of the binding. However, some of these books were really beautiful, like that green one, the dark brown binding one was really beautiful, and you can just keep it as is for a farmhouse. But as you can see, I had to just take some scissors to kind of cut away at the book and remove it from the hardback cover. It was really easy to do. It didn't take me very long at all. And then basically from there, I just wrapped it a couple times with some cotton twine and tied it in a little bow and it was that simple. I think that this project would have been a little bit easier with maybe like a razor tool or a razor blade, whatever that's called, uh, but using scissors worked as well, but you can just kind of see me working here at the book trying to get that hard back away. Now some of them I was able to keep this like little brown paper bag side. Do you see that on the binding? I thought that was really cute and I like that each book was unique and it kind of gave it a more rustic outdoorsy. It's been sitting in a barn attic for a while and that's kind of like the look I was going for. Now overall, I did choose the cotton twine. It matched really well with the cream of the book and so I just loved it like that. I thought it was just so simple and yet so effective. And this project cost me, how many books did I do? Five books and some cotton twine, that's $6. And look how much twine I have left. So that is it for this project. I'm gonna let you guys keep on watching and I'm gonna show you another way that you can um, cover your book, kind of give it like a little present look, if you will. But that's it for this DIY. It's just that simple and I hope you guys feel inspired. And comment down below if you have any suggestions as well for like what you would do in terms of books. But that's it. Now I'm at the end of this video. I'll show you all the different like places that I tried to set this up. And my favorite was the last place with the um, the, the flowers that I actually gave to my daughter for making the senior cheer squad. I thought that that looked really beautiful and rustic um, on top of that little wood table. So I'll see you guys next time for another DIY. Bye.